Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to Hollow Knight. You probably know what Hollow Knight is. Uh, this is a game that I've been ex super excited about and I fully planned on playing when it launched uh, about a month ago. And due to technical difficulties with the controls, I had to drop it. Uh, I, I wanted to play it, I wanted to record it, but I couldn't. Finally got around to fixing the issues. Apparently I wasn't the only one having these control issues. I fucking figured it out after a lot of tinkering and I didn't know if I wanted to do a series on it because really I feel like the, the ship has sailed when it comes to viewership for this game. So I figured I'm gonna play at least one or two episodes, see if there are a ton of people interested or not, and then either continue with it if there's enough people there or just pull the plug and be done with it and maybe stream it from the beginning or something. I don't know, I don't know. I just wanna play this game, man. I just love Dark Souls types game. I know this isn't fully a Dark Souls game, but I wanna play it and that's where I stand. So. We're going to. As you can see, I got a new game for three minutes in. We're gonna clear that. That was me uh, ensuring that I had the controls figured out. Uh, let's let's go ahead and start a new game. And uh, I hope you guys are, are going to enjoy this playthrough. Lord knows uh, I'm excited for it. In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls that you, the challenge, met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they never dreamed. From Elegy of the Hollow Nest by Monomen the Teacher. All right, interesting already. So I am a huge lore guy, so fully expect me to be delving into the lore of this game and theorizing what's going on uh, in the world, because I know the game tells the story in a similar way to Dark Souls, where it's the environment that speaks the story more than anything else. Uh, and there's little tidbits of what's going on there and you have to kind of figure it out for yourself. Whoa, okay. That's some interesting antlers right there. And like alien faces. One had like one dot, two had looked like an alien alien. The other one looked like it had six eyes, like a spider of some sort. So that's cool. I'm so excited to play this game. You have no idea. If you watch my Dark Souls playthrough, my Dark Souls 3 playthrough, then you know how excited I am for this style of game, man. I'm so pumped. And I like Metroidvanias and platformers in general, so. This, this guy's creepy looking. I think this is who we are, though. Okay. Looked like he was looking on a city beyond a cliff. And so we begin our descent into Hollow Knight. The game is gorgeous. All right, yep. So X attacks, pretty simple. A jumps. Easy enough. All right, let's just go in. Right away, everything looks destroyed, decayed, like a forgotten world. A game by Team Cherry, good to know. Okay. You bust on through. And we're just gonna go ahead and attack kind of everything we come across. So this right here, I'm pretty sure is the money of the game. As I have seen a little bit of the gameplay since I haven't been able to play it, I did kind of peep a little bit of the gameplay myself. So money is money. I like how I'm just destroying everything along the way. Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. So that's our heal. If we hold B, we can heal. Easy enough. Yeah, our first enemy. Well, actually, it's a lie. Our first aggressive enemy, rather, should we say. Uh, oh. What's in here? Hello. Cool. Oh, just another, uh, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. I love how heavy our character actually falls. Like, when he lands, he lands with a very heavy thud. Uh, which is actually kind of cool. There's, like, some weight to him, How no matter how small he looks. There's a little bit of weight. So the exciting thing for me, and the thing I'm gonna be looking forward to, okay. Okay, let's just go ahead and kill him off. Uh, the exciting thing for me when it comes to this game really is going to be 
the uh, exploration aspect of it. Um, these are like butterflies, I guess? This thing was moving. They're like little bugs. Oh, we're getting like some some temp health, it looks like. That's cool. Um, for me, the, the exploration of the world is really what's going to be the most exciting bit for me. Uh, really just kind of learning everything I can. Like, look at that. That's cool. It's like a mask on a... On a shell of some sort. All these things look like, everything looks like, okay. Oh, hey, there's something up there. All right, well, I wonder if we can get up there at some point. Uh, everything looks like, okay, okay, let's keep moving. Like shells. Um, aha, I thought I could, I could see into there. I don't think I can make it across, though. I'll give it a shot, but after, only after I grab this. Nope, I can't. Oh, and it's oh, right. I have temporary health, so that HP is gone for good now. Um. Anyway, everything looks like shells and like carapaces, I guess. I'm dumb, but I survived that fall. Ooh, I wonder if I can fall across and get to that. Even after I've I've kind of uh already missed it, I guess. No, I can't. That's a shame. I wonder if that's like permanently like lost to me now, or if I'm gonna be able to backtrack. I know this is a Metroidvania in some in, in some regard, but I still don't know like how far I can return back. Hello. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. The only civilization, the last and only one, huh? There's a giant ass door. And it's busting down. And it looks like we're gonna bust in. This, yeah, this. <laughs> and we go. Yeah, I love the way he lands. Um, little superhero landing, kind of. Everything's run down and destroyed, but yet there's still lights. Dirtmouth. The fading town. Ooh, okay, okay. Hello. Ho there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. This is the elder bug. So, everybody's an insect, I'm pretty sure? The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills that place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Ooh, interesting. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Okay. Can you say anything else? Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hollow Nest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Oh, Feeling tired? Crazy. That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem to be the talkative sort. Oh, Feeling God. tired? Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and rest. And keep on moving, I guess. What's this? For all your mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon. Zelda and Cornifer. All right. So that's the well. Let's we'll see if there's anything out this way, because I want to check. Can't help myself. This is a graveyard. I'm just destroying signposts. Inspect. A stone door with a simple lock. Okay. Well, that's already interesting. I'm curious what that's going to end up being. Well, down we go, I guess. So the kingdom below, all but forgotten, and their poisonous air makes them mad and have and lose their memories. Forgotten crossroads. Well, there we could have gone left or right there, and my brain immediately decided that right was the way to go. Okay, you're evil. That's unfortunate. I don't know if I like the fact that I destroy all architecture. Like, I'm just like, I know it's optional, but still. I'm kind of just wrecking shit. A 
What do we have here? Temple of the Black Egg. Hi there. Hello there! How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do, love so, I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie beyond, below deeper. This is actually the thing that lit up in the cutscene. It has those three faces on it. Is that all that's in here? Ooh, all right. It's going to be like a Super Metroid thing as I kill bosses. Like, each one will, like, break or something, leading to, uh, like, the final boss below. Interesting. Okay, nothing has ever come of destroying architecture right away, but it's very, very satisfying. So, you are evil. And they kind of spur out orange goop, but their bodies stay, even though the orange goop disappears. So I wonder if what's making them evil immediately, my brain says, it's the orange. Maybe that's the poisonous bit? Okay, let's be careful here. Ooh, there's gotta be something up there. If they're putting a platform there, there's gotta be something there. But everything that's attacked me, has everything that's attacked me had orange eyes? I'm curious. I don't know where to go, man. There's so many places I can go. These look like mines of some sort, maybe. There's humming happening somewhere. Can't go over there. Hello? Oh, yep, somebody down there. Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. <laughs> Do you know that one? It's one of my f favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join. I bet you have a b b beautiful singing voice. <laughs> So what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. <laughs> okay. Oh, bury the knight with a broken nail. Bury the priest something about a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hum it. Oh, bury the, okay, okay, we got, all right. Bury the knight with a broken nail and a priest something or other. Oh, we're going up. Oh, we missed something. All right, all right. Already, like, just stuff. Hang on. I'd like to go over here. Hello. All right. That looks like it was giving me soul, I think. Like, it was lighting up my little soul meter at the top. Also, my health is the two-eyed alien face of the weird symbol that I remember from before. Oh, jump, jump. I wonder if that means, like, that has any significance or I'm just stupid for thinking it does. Can I just make this fall? No? Alright, alright. I tried. I feel like I gave it a fair shake there. Alright, we're going down. Excuse me. You keep humming along down there. You just have a good time. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave you to be. So that's the kind of end of this area over here. Let's head back this way. Alright. So that sign, I wonder if it tells me, it leads me back to, uh, there we go. Uh, I wonder if it leads me back to, what do you call it? The, the city, like this sign means back to the city or something. We can go down further, but not before I'm done exploring this area. And these guys don't have, oh, okay, didn't, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't see the stalactite there. All right, good. Uh, these guys don't have orange eyes necessarily, but they do explode in orange goop, so that alone tells me, yeah, maybe the whatever's 
causing the orange, as it were, is the problem here. And they all, this guy's walking around like a zombie. Keep him in a narrow hallway and you should be good. Hey. Gotta time my attacks. I can't chain them. I can't chain them like super quickly. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of a grace period that needs to be given between e each attack before I can swing again. But so far all these enemies have been, I feel like, overly simple. So I fully expect the game to fuck me pretty hard. I think I hear crying? Oh, hello! Little man in a, in a glass cage. Can I get to you? I don't think I can get to you yet. I'm sorry, I know you're crying. First of all, how the hell did you even get there? Alright, I can't get to you, man. I'll try again later. Yeah, this place... Actually, what I like about the architecture is this place just looks abandoned. Like, there's just things lying about. Things just lying about like they were there normally. Like that little carriage there. Also, what the hell is that noise? Hello. I'm very confused. I don't think these guys are aggressive. I wonder why these guys... Okay, well, I'm falling all the way to the fucking bottom, apparently. Let's go ahead and heal up. We can at least beat these guys for soul. It's very Metroid. This is, this reminds me of Metroid pretty pretty significantly. With the dudes who just ignore you and just kind of go around the uh, platforms as this is passive hazard. Just gotta be careful. Can't just sit there and take it. Because not only when you get hit, it seems that you obviously lose health, but you also get knocked back quite a bit. I'm excited though, man. And I do, I sincerely hope this series does well. It's one of those things, man, like I, I can't justifiably continue it if people aren't really watching, which sucks. Cause I know this game is gonna be about anywhere between 30 and 40 episodes, like any other of these types of games that are, are similar. Uh, let's see, it took me 40 episodes or 41 episodes for Dark Souls 3. So I can, I assume uh, from what Nick has said, and what Ryan has said, the game is about similar length. If you don't plan on 100%ing, which I... I don't, unless the series does super fucking well. There's so much to fucking explore. Ascend. Aha, okay. Let's see what's up here. Oh, are we back? We're back. Oh, we went in a circle? Hang on a second. We went in a circle. Didn't realize that that was where we were. So we actually just kind of went across. Alright, alright. That's fine. There was a part over here that we could explore. So we went all the way to the top, but all the way to the top doesn't do much. And I've, have I gone in here? No. Uh, hello? Okay. Sad slug man. Hey, dude. You know what? You're surrounded by a bunch of uh, empty other eggs. You're missing something. And you're sad as hell, so... I don't know, man. I'll come back. Once I have a better idea. For now, let's check out this little tree foresty area that we missed out on last time. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hollow Nest descend through the verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. Their all wishes shall be granted. All truths revealed. All wishes shall be granted and all truths revealed. Hello. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, okay. All right, all right. Really? Can I not get past you? Hmm. Yeah, alright. 
So I need a, some sort of ranged attack to get by him. Hitting a lot of areas that are are already Metroidvania e. Oop oop oop! I definitely want to see what that is. Cause I can go in there, no doubt. Shit. And by Metroidvania e, what I mean uh, is that it requires a power that we are yet to get, but I'm assuming will at some point. Gotta be. Gotta make. I have to go. This is a, quite a trip around the block here. To get over here. Okay. I'm I'm more worried about like stalactites or something falling on my face. Stag to lights are falling on my face. Like these guys, not a huge deal. Okay, this is just giving me soul. Which is great, but I haven't really needed it. And I can't wall jump, I don't think. Nope. Ow. Okay. Had to try. Again, yet another area that I will have to return to. That was dumb. All for two coins. Oh, Matt, this. Okay, let's just go through here. Ignore it. Couple, a little bit of bad play right out the gate. Down we go. Oh, hello, humming man. What's up? Ah! Oh, hello there! Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins, don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Purchase a map? Yes. Acquired a map. Hold down L bumper to view the current area. Okay. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not uh, the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like you. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. All right, so our map. We don't know where we are, except that must be Map Man right there. So it seems like there's some areas that he has not fully mapped out yet. Interesting. So I feel like... Uh, I love that he's so fucking jolly about mapping shit out, but... Uh, there's more... I feel like I'm gonna need more. Oh, look, I'm looking at the map! That's adorable. So he's there. I don't know of actually anything that he was that that map was showing me is remotely useful. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's useful. All right, pay, pay attention, Mathis. But like in a way that I know where I am. Oh shit. Okay. Pretty simple. Pretty simple jumping puzzle. No problem. No problem. But I do want to get the compass. It seems if I haven't the. Uh, eye for direction, and uh, just in case you weren't aware, or if you never watched any of my playthroughs of any games before... Oh, hello, you spawn babies, apparently. Um, I am garbage with directions, so going to see... Is Zelda? Yeah, that's gonna have to happen. Oh, hello. Whoa, hello! Alright, see ya, dude! Well, that's another one of those little slug things. It's the first one we've rescued, but the second one we've come across. Good to know. Don't, all right, let's try that again. Let's not get hit by this thing. We got a little bit eager with the jumps there. Doesn't look like I can get up there quite. Ooh, hang on a second. I think I can get up there. Hang on, hang on, watch this. This is genius of me, watch. Oh, that's gonna work. Oh, because we when we hit things, we get knocked back, right? Are you serious? Maybe I can't. Nope, I'm a genius. I am a genius. Because when we hit things, right, we get knocked back. And it gives re restraint. We can, not, we can swing down and swing up. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Ooh, okay, okay. Yes, please. A little bit of fencing there, doesn't seem to matter.
Oh! Wow! That's actually incredibly intelligent of them. They laid out that thing to be smacked right next to a wall where it would make the wall wobble so you'd notice, hey, look, you can destroy walls for secrets. That's a, one of those teaching by, by showing. Okay, is this a boss fight? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's like not a boss fight, it's like wave based a monster murder. Just gotta kinda like stay just above him. That's it? You my friends, that's not enough. That wasn't enough. Interesting little challenge you had there though, I'll give you that. The music in this game is amazing. Okay. I feel like we have a lot of money, so I'm gonna wanna go see what's her face. Is Zelda, is that what is it? her name was? The little lady? Uh, I wonder how much a compass and all that stuff is gonna cost me. I can't get up there yet. God, so many places just tantalizing me. Absolutely tantalizing me, excuse me. Glad you're not gonna make me fight him again. Appreciate that greatly. Can't get up there. Hello. You have money. I wonder if I can use these guys to get up to anything. Hello. Just give me all the shit, man. Just give it to me. Alright, see you later. Progress is being made, friends. Progress is indeed being made. I feel like all of this is just tutorial level. Like, the challenge here has been minimal at, at best. Like, we got a lot of these little wormy things. But the animation and like, the music and everything, it's, it sends my, my brain into, like, curious territories. What is going on? Why is it going on? Oh, shit. What's called? I don't think I can get up there. I do feel like I may have missed a way up, though. So let's, uh... Let's see if we can get up there in a different way or a different pathway. Like, those stairs right there? Yeah, there was an upper, upper passageway. So what we want to do... Is that uh, a little bit of a secret? Only can get a couple of hits in at best, which kind of sucks. But money is money. I wonder if there's gonna be a time where I can kill them. I wonder if I'll get something that'll allow me to murder their asses. Also, what is this? There's a sign pointing this way all over the place. What's this? It's like a building. It got very quiet suddenly. Alright, that's our saving spot. A toll machine with a symbol of a stag on it. Insert Geo. Oh, these are called Geo. Sure. Let's see what that does. Can I go in? No. There's a bell. Hello! Oh, shit! It's a bug! He's very excited. Greetings, Auto One. It's been ages since I last heard the ringing of Station Bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you to where you need to go. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go to Dirtmouth. I want to go to Dirtmouth and spend my fucking money. That's awesome. Fast travel. Gotta love it. Uh, to you too. Up we go. It's like little notices on the board. Uh, excuse me? Aha! It's like uh, I opened a door. Well, there you go. 
Hey man, I've opened a door. I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent since before even my time. Really, before your time? Jesus, and you're old. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lines, a web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. All right, well. I'm looking for, yep, okay, here's the shop. Let's see if she's got what I need. Girl, you got what, oh, look at you, sassy girl. <sighs> Come by a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise, he's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what's here for me to sell. A uh, wayward compass. Highly recommended if you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us. Try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful. That's awesome. You'll need if you want to update your map with new areas to explore. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. These pins will mark benches. And Oh, man. These are just ways to mark things. Okay, let's take the this first. Item purchased. So now we've got the uh, equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting on a bench. Okay, okay. Let's see what ah, else she's got. Bafanada. I want the quill next. Actually, we can almost get that. Let's actually farm that up, I think. Was there... Shit, a bench. We want to equip it. Yeah, let's rest of the bench real quick. Okay, we can just do this. And this is a charm. Sweet. Costs one... Okay, we have three notches. It costs a notch. But now, we can see where we are, and we can see where we're moving. Beautiful. So let's go farm up the others and get the quill as well. That should be pretty easy. We only need a little bit. So let's go to the Forgotten Crossroads, and let's farm up a bit there as well. We only need, like I said, just a tiny bit. You stay there, sir. He's like so eager. <laughs> I love how all the sound effects seem to be voices, uh, voices in some way. It's like somebody in front of a microphone like, All right, Bob, I need you to do your best bug noise. So Bob's like, wait a minute, what? My, my best bug noise? I thought I was here to voice care. No, Bob, stop fucking arguing with me. I need your best bug noise. We're paying you. It's not my fault you didn't read exactly what we were looking for. Now, please give me your best bug noise. Uh, all right. Uh, can I get some direction? Uh, sure, Bob, you were, I mean, I don't know, you were a beetle that will also act as, like, a train station, and you're old, all right? You've been around for a while, just, uh, just work with that. Uh, an old bug train? All right, sure. Uh, uh, uh. Do I have any lines to work with, Jim? No, Bob, just grunt, noises, don't worry. I mean, we're not paying you to voice all the lines, for Christ's sake, Bob, just fucking give us, can you believe this guy? Can you believe Bob is just, like, being this punch of a pain in the ass? All right, Bob, go. And <laughs> that's it. Hello. All right, Gru's mother. Apparently, you're a boss. Okay. All right. All right, Mathis. Let's be smart here. All right. All right. Okay. Down, and then we'll go. Okay. Well, that was a mistake. This isn't too hard, though. He's just like a simple, there we go. Did we get him? Or is he gonna blow up and do damage? I'm sorry, Gru's mother. Yep, you're dead. Sorry, Gru's mother. Ooh. Oh God. You have built, you have, are you? Oh God, okay. I'm sorry, I killed a mom. I killed a mother. I killed Gru, I mean Gru's mother. I clearly was in the name, but still. That's horrifying. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Was not my intent, Gru's mother. Is this where you lived? Like, what's going on here? I can't tell if it's like a place you lived at. Hello? Uh, excuse me? You know, you can keep laughing up there. Works for me. I don't need you to be, you know, giggling at me in any way. Oh, my house. Hello? Oh! Oh! Oro, you oaf! The wield your, to, you wield your nail like a club! Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, oh what? Oh. Who are you? I see, this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever awoken. 
I'm sly. Usually I live in an, une an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best get back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Did you not notice his eyes were all orange and shit when he was wandering? You're exploring then? Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I could tell just by looking at you how you wield it. So does my nail mean my sword? Alright, see you later, dude. I'll maybe see you in Dirtmouth. I kind of want to just keep exploring, to be honest with you. This game has its hooks in me already, but I kind of knew it was going to. So we've come across this before. It's going to be a shortcut back up. I do want to get back up to dirt myth here. See ya. What's in here? Ooh, hello. Inspect. Wait, what? A door with this open slot. All right. Well, I don't have anything for that open slot. There's a big fucking door wide open. I mean, uh, not wide open. Very much closed. Thank you for the free money. So it's like a train station, kind of? Interesting. Well, I was looking for a secret there. No babies! Stop shitting out children. I don't want any of your kids. I didn't sign up to be a freaking father. Could you stop it? It's freaking oh god damn it. I forgot why is why am I in an area where everything spurts out children? Okay. Ooh, ooh, some precise platforming. We did it though, because we're fucking gods. Uh, we have enough to buy another uh, like mapping thing on top of the quill. All right. Okay. Okay. We got. We're getting a little one, two, three. Ooh. We can hit him when he's open, when he's swinging. Uh, that's cool. One, two. Okay. Let's not do that. One, two. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Trying to like, I'm trying to like master combat here. I could just, you know, jump on top of him like a normal person. But I was too busy being like, I wonder if I can hit him in the front when he's open. All right, I think we should start looking our head back here. I'd, I don't want to end the episode yet because I do want to get back. I thought I heard something. I do. Oop, there's a switch there. Hang on. Is it over here? I think it's getting louder. Is it in here? Hello? No, well, that's you, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but that's not who I'm looking for. I hear like a, a gurgling, is it, maybe? I do want to get the money. It's up here. Oh, it's got to be in here. It's got to be in here. Nope. Maybe it's up where that switch is initially. Oh, nope. Secret. Excuse me. Spitty things. Hey. So another one of you. All right. Good luck. See you later. Oh, what the hell you're for? Oh, no, I do know what those are for. Not only because I pieced it together, but I also vaguely remember seeing it in a video. That's where that old sad man was. He, uh... I'm rescuing his children. I totally forgot that was a thing. But I remember now. Okay, I think I've shortcutted my way up and around. This looks familiar. Yeah. If we take a look, we're here. Yeah, we need to go up and around. I gotta remember, I have the compass now, so I can actually see myself on the map. 
which is in extremely useful. Can't jump up on that. Okay. Where am I? Alright, I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm farming up quite a bit of good cash, though. Let's go ahead and heal. So, it's kind of interesting. It's something I haven't really noted on. I'm farming souls, which is bizarre. Like, I straight up just... As I beat people, I get their soul. They straight up call it soul. They don't, they don't beat around the bush. It is called soul. I'm very curious what the purpose of that is or why it's called that. So that's the temple. Of the black egg, and I'm sure that'll hatch at some point. Okay. Ascend, and let's go ahead and buy everything we need. Right, that way, let's go this way. We also, the guy, the, the little friendly dude who's here. Aha! Alright, he's there. Let's go buy what we want first. And then we'll go talk to him, the guy who's going to reward us. Alright, so we want the quill. Okay. And now these we got pins, so... Uh, the cocoons are pretty, but very... Yeah, shit. Now, let's just grab the bench pin so we know where benches are. Alright, so we should be able to now, if we sit down, I think it'll... It says every time we rest, it'll update our map, so... Map updated. So yeah, we update the map on our own. We can't actually check out around here, but hey, there's a bench there. All right, hang on. Last thing we're going to do. Ooh. Give all in. Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning on a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. The most chill. Oh, so your reward is I can buy things from you. Awesome. This old thing, merely a fragment of something larger. Maybe you can make some use of it. All right, I don't know what these all are. Found this rot rancid. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I stuck down in the ruins. Suppose you could buy it. I won't miss its odor. Rancid egg is orange, so I wonder if that's half the problem of what's going wrong here. Well, thanks for not rewarding me, you dick. Oh wait, listen. I see they've opened the mapping shop across the way. I suppose a little competition is healthy. Perhaps we should start to sell maps as well. Or is that a little aggressive? <laughs> All's fair in a world made of geo. Oh, come on. Pocket yeah. feeling empty? If you need some more geo, take a trip into the ruins below us and hunt. Just take care or not to fall into a haze. I wouldn't come I won't be coming down to rescue you. Speaking of, I rescued oh, you. Come on, yeah. Dick. I'll reward you. AKA no I won't, nerd. Do you have anything to say? Oh, what a turn. Our shop keeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hope for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition, that's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. We rest, and we stop. Thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you're going to enjoy this series. Let me know, especially in a series like this, if you're enjoying it by hitting the like button and commenting and all that good stuff. The support goes a long way into letting me know that you want to see more. I'll be back with another episode or two, and we'll go from there. Bye-bye.